Well, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Flight Deck Sim live stream today. It is the 20th of February, 2024, 33 minutes past five in the evening. Back in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the excellent Phoenix Airbus A320 here in Madrid, Spain, six hours behind live time. But we do have live weather for a short sector to Pamplona. I've uh, been uh, wanting to fly here for a while. It was requested by uh, Dave, one of the members, some time ago. It's got an epic approach which we're going to be flying today, really challenging with a visual prescribed track onto the approach. So I thought I'd try it in the aircraft uh, I find most difficult to fly. Uh, but the main idea behind today's stream is I have got two brand new monitors. I've got some LG, uh, NVIDIA, G-Sync, fancy pants monitors and I personally love them so much. I'm not affiliated with G uh, uh, LG in any way. I just read the reviews and this is the the, uh, the uh, monitor I chose to, to get. But they're an absolutely amazing. I'm so pleased with them. The quality, the improvements I'm getting in the performance both in the simulator as well with G-Sync on. I'm getting like rock solid 60 FPS. A lot of people here probably watch the streams frequently. You can now watch in 2K, improved quality. Um, I think I've got rid of the micro stutters as well. So feedback is uh, very much appreciated. Uh, as I said, we're going to be flying in the Phoenix A320 today. Uh, afterwards, we're going to do a uh, online group flight on the Microsoft Flight Sim uh, servers in the Curtis Jenny, uh, a default biplane which is available. That will be about 40 minutes as we fly to Bay Ritz for a bit of fun uh, to see how it is. But hopefully you can see the improved quality uh, in the simulator already. I spent some time yesterday, about two or three hours, tweaking uh, YouTube settings and Streamlabs, doing some private streams to the members. Their feedback was appreciated, so thank you everyone that was doing that yesterday. Uh, but yes, um, love the Phoenix A320. And talking about Phoenix, one of the devs who uh, I have liaised with in the past and uh, got to know quite well, very kindly, just before the start of the trip. Oh my god, how big is that window? I need to make that smaller. Um, <laughs> very kindly said, would you like to give away a copy of our Phoenix A320? I was like, oh yes please. So Phoenix have been in touch and have very kindly given me a key. Uh, so after we've done the first flight landing in Pamplona, we'll run a giveaway for the Phoenix A320 before we do our group flight in the Curtis JN4 Jenny to Bay Reed. So yes, I've just realized the little alert box is absolutely massive. Uh, let me just make that a little bit smaller. I did that on the test sector. I swear it wasn't that big there. So let me just adjust the size of that in the background. Try to be a pro streamer here as well. Uh, there we are. So that should be a little bit smaller now and the, this is stuff I should have done before the stream but I'll have a, I'll have a bit of a, a play around with it there um, what are the model numbers of the LG monitors oh uh, 850 something that they're, they're mini uh, whatever the thing's called micro oh, I've <laughs> forgot the turn the box is only outside of my office it's got m micro mini something or other so 2k monitors I'll probably flick your camera around and show you at some point but yeah it's very very nice indeed look who we have down here just below the desk though because I've got the joystick uh, yoke cameras on Jack 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 hello what's this here yeah. Hey, sleepy eyes. We just went for a walk before the start of the stream, so he's down there listening to me uh, stream away. Dylan, his best friend, has gone uh, to his uh, brother's today, so just Jack with me today. He's, as you can see, he's very sleepy on the bed there. Uh, excellent. So um, let's get uh, the aircraft all set up, ready to go. I'll jump uh, into the uh, Felis A320 now. Yeah, hopefully... It looks really crisp for you uh, if we just go around the aircraft. Um, but yeah, it should have got rid of some micro stutters and things like that too. But look, you can see the quality. For me personally, on my monitor is great. But for you looking as well, uh, Mark Lancho, thank you. Yes, uh, it's one of those, an LG LG monitor 2K. But oh God, what such a difference it made. But it should be ultra crisp for you guys watching. For those of you who uh, watch the stream frequently in 1080p, should hopefully notice a difference there. They are micro mega magnificent. Thanks, James. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, a nice difference compared to previous streams. That's what I like to hear there. Uh, cool. So let me now jump into the uh, cockpit. Completely cold and dark. Um, I've taken the opportunity to load up this as well. Um, so I'll just get some electrical power connected to the aircraft. Remember, I fly the 737, not the 320. So do bear with me whilst I get it set up. So battery one, battery two. Ah, uh, ding, external power's all connected. Um, we'll start boarding as well with GSX, so we'll go over here and uh, request boarding. Uh, we'll go with Swissport International. There we are. As GSX fires up, it does get a little bit stuttery, but uh, you can see everything's getting connected here, the air bridge. This is just the default Madrid scenery. Who on earth? <laughs> 
<laughs> hmm, I've just noticed something. What is that doing up there? <coughs> Defying the laws of physics, it would seem. Yes, uh, I think that's to do with the fact there's not a GSX profile here, but it's otherwise working very nicely. Um, oh yes, need to set up a uh, new sky. I always forget to do that. I'll let... Ah! What, what is it binging at me for? Uh, smoke detector fault, no livestock. What? Got no livestock in the back here. Um, yeah, I just um, I always forget this to do, to do this at the start of streams. Remember where you have a virtual airline now? Alpaca Airways is an official virtual airline uh, on New Sky. So let me just get that set up here uh, in the background. So book flight, free flight, Alpaca Airways, Alpaca Two Zero, Papa Alpha, departing from Madrid. We're going to Pamplona. Oh, what's the close? Lima Echo, Papa Papa. Yeah, Pamplona uh, in an A320. Uh, it's the regular A320 series, payload limited by maximum zero fuel weight. We'll just lower that then a little bit, something like that. That'll do. Yeah. Uh, oh no, what have we got? 165 passengers is actually what I do have. Um, departure time, we'll put that uh, on the hour, 1800, duration 50 minutes, book flight. Excellent. Uh, so that's now booked. We can now. Uh, start the flight, start flight, there we are, so that's now all being logged correctly in the background, there we go, um, no alpacas aboard today, no Anthony, yes I saw your banter about the Zebobod giveaway as well, brilliant at the start, hope you're doing well, um, good, all I've done is get some electrical power on the aircraft, what other things do I need to do in the Airbus, check the radars off, make sure the ignition switch is in the normal position, these switches are in the off position as well, um, then no doubt you jump into the ECAM and check various systems, so yes we've got engines and check the bleed air and the, the pressurisation, um, IDG's off, that's fine, we have external power connected. Yes, I've never understood these gauges, but yes, I hope it's all very clear and crisp for you in 2K now, so you can see all these very nicely, but uh, that's all looking good, and I've already preloaded the fuel uh, for this sector. Right, so I've checked all the ECAM pages, I'll now configure the overhead panel, um, so IRS to NAV, sounds like boarding has commenced as well, so I'll just turn up GSX, so I can hear that doing its thing in the background. That's very good. Um, I'm sure these are working. Crew supply on. Uh, fuel pumps on. I'll just do the fire tests. Very crisp. The crisp is real. <laughs> Appreciate the feedback there, D Dog. There we are. All right, fire test done. I'm sure the camp is showing what it needs to. Uh, nav logo lights can come on. Uh, Seatbelts on, no smoking on, emergency exit lights we can arm. There we are, we've got no white lights here. Uh, good, I'm expecting a, a, a rubber dealio 3 November. <laughs> uh, expected stop attitudes that, and this will all close, won't it, when I load it up. I'll press B to set Q and H. Oh, why has it gone to... Is that because of the altitude here in Madrid? What is the, the Q&H here in Madrid? I think the A... Can I get an ATIS? I think there might be some ATC. Oh, there is actually ATIS in Madrid. So, uh, yes, we'll uh, get the ATIS shortly. But I just want to load up the... Um, actually, you know what? I will get the, the ATIS now, just in case it's a different runway news, because I'm planning runway 36 left. So, 36855. Uh, yes, the ATIS is in place. TLONG40 CPDLC available. When 260 at 4. Cav OK. Temperature 18. Two point four QNH one zero two eight transition level one oh, four zero. Perfect. This was a Golfo Suarez Madrid Airport eight is information Charlie. It was information on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. I didn't get the, the last bit before she said Charlie. Three six left. For this the is a Golfo Suarez Madrid Airport eight is information Charlie. At time one seven three zero Zulu. Runways in use for departures three six left and three six right. TLONE four zero CPDLC available. Ooh, when two CPDLC six zero four. Available. Ooh, okay. I can log on then. Temperature one eight. Two point four. QNH one zero two eight. Transition level one four zero. This was Adolfo Suarez. Adolfo Suarez or something like that. Right, I've got the latest weather. This says there's CPDLC for clearance now. I've never used it in the, the Phoenix, I don't think, so we'll, we'll try and connect, I think, or have I not had, do I have Hoppy set up? No, I do have Hoppy set up. 
Uh, no, I don't. I think uh, that might not work. Right. Um, so we've got the ATIS uh, information Charlie three six left, which is what we're planning. I think I can now load the FMC. Uh, walk around. I'm looking at this checklist that I found online. Yes, it's now time to load up the flight management computer. Um, right. I'll try it. Atsu for A cars. ATC menu. Let me just see what the login is. It's uh, data Lincoln Lima Echo Mike Delta connection connection status. Uh, what was it again? Lima Echo Mike Delta. Let's try it. Hello, Madrid notifying. I need to check. Is it in the Phoenix settings, your Hoppy code? I think I changed it recently. Yeah, Hoppy ACARS code. Let me just see what my latest Hoppy ACARS is via email. Uh, because I don't think I've got that set up. Yeah, this is stuff I need to do before the stream, really, to make sure it's working. Because I don't have the I don't have the hoppy code. I don't have the email, so I have to generate a hoppy code, reconnect it, and go from there. Anyway, sorry about that, because it would have been something different to see. And it's how we use use uh, or contact ATC uh, most of the time now. Recall empty consult message record. Oh, it's it's cool. Should say pre departure clearance. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll another time, another time. Unless you really would like me to, I'm getting set up in the background. Anyway, for now, uh, FMS check the type and model. Nav database is up to date. To the init page, uh, init request. Let's get all the information. Call sign's going to be Alpaca two zero Papa Alpha today. Uh, we're going to have a cost index of zero because it's a super short flight and I want time to brief everything. We're only cruising at 22,000 feet today. So that's done. And then this page, uh, I get the information from the Phoenix Mass and Balance page, isn't it? There we go. So, zero uh, fuel is 59.8, 31.9, so 59.8, 31.9. Eight thirty one point nine. Good block fuel got a bit extra six point two tons. It's an extra thirty point uh thirty minutes on this sector. There we are, it's all blue. There we are. Uh in the MCDU requests in MC ah Ah This is like direct to request speeds and things like that. Try it one more time, but I don't think Hoppy. I don't have the right Hoppy code. That's boarding complete anyway. Oh, oh, ding dong! Madrid notified at seventeen forty-six. Does that actually mean it's gone through to 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 that sim? Madrid notified. All right. Well, uh, I'll carry on with the setup for now. So that's done. Uh, flight plan. Oh, A AOC. Right. AOC menu. <laughs> right. AOC menu. ATC. ATC. Request. Pre-departure clearance. Ow! What? Do I have to fill all this up? Ah, oh, this is a, this is pain. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, well, it, well I might, this is the thing with the same in real life. It's just quicker to request your clearance if it's quiet on frequency. <laughs> right. I'll do it just just because you know in places like Madrid, Barcelona, where you can't get a word in edgeways on the frequency, it's it's great to have this. So Lima Echo. Papa, Papa. Gate number. I can't remember. Uh, I think it was 350. Oh, yeah, it's default. It doesn't have any of the stand numbers. 350. 
is it an A320 uh, call sign is Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha it's better work information Charlie St station? what do I put there? edit the flight in AOC I don't know St station oh Madrid Lima Echo my Delta I'll, tr I'll try it Send. Uh. Ooh. Right. What? This is this is sort of very tense. Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Your nearest train station. Nav actually upgraded. Oh, that made me jump. 40, 30, Thank you very much, 20, Rock. 10. Very kind of you. Yes. I'm missing the 7 8. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate your $7.80. Where are you coming in from there? Very, very kind of you. Thank you. I, I've got a funny feeling Hoppy isn't connected correctly. But uh, shouldn't it ding dong when I get a message there? But everything I filled in and pressed send seems to have disappeared. But uh, I don't think I've got the right Hoppy code in anyway. But now I'm so far down the rabbit hole, I want to get this working. Without flight in it in AOC, Hoppy doesn't send t to this A cars. Okay, I'm just checking my e. Oh, that made me jump. Someone's calling. Hello. Ah, oh look. What does this say? Oh, pr stand by. Oh, message received. This is very exciting. <laughs> Even though it's taking about 20 minutes. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to pick up. Hello. <laughs> oh, cleared to. Pamplona off 36 left via Robodelia 3 November 13,000 feet. Ah! S send. No! Un unable! No! Ah! <laughs> I think I'm just going to revert to voice. <laughs> Have I just said unable? <laughs> this is very exciting. <laughs> Uh, I think I think I'm just gonna revert to voice. <laughs> See, I know how it works on my plane. It's completely different in this thing. Ah, oh, stop calling me. Hello. <laughs> how do I? How do I read these messages? Uh, right. Oh. Departure request status. Request being processed. Stand by. Press close. Have I got my clearance then? What was, what was my squawk? <laughs> oh, I'm pressing. Not, right, I'm just reverting to voice. Uh, probably 118755. I miss the good old days. It's just automated and computers. Uh, right. Um, <coughs> uh, that's done. That's done. Uh, radar, hello, Alpaca 20, pa Papa Alpha, stand 350 Madrid, uh, information Charlie, departure clearance to Pamplona, please, I'm not sure if it worked via CPDLC, he's calling me. <laughs> Have I got the right frequency? No, I've got the wrong frequency. No, I've got the right frequency, what? oh no, I've got the wrong frequency. <laughs> Right, contact ATC by voice. Refuse not supported by data link. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh. Madrid, hello. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha. Stand 350. Uh, information Charlie. Uh, QNH 1028. HG20. Departure Chris to Pamplona, please. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha. Muy buenas. Quiero tu destinación Pamplona. Runway 36 left. Romeo Bravo, Scatsy, November departure. Initial time is 1 3000 feet, the squawk 4434. Clear to Pamplona, runway 36 left, Robodilia 3 November, come to altitude 1 3000, squawk 4434, Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha. Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha, this track is correct. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> well, we got the clearance after all that hoo ha. 13,000 feet, squawk 4434. Uh, oh, isn't this a. Airbus thing, isn't it? I've got to press clear. That's it. Four, four, three, four. 
And uh, we can download the FMC. 80 messages flashing. Press it to cancel. Where? Uh, we'll try again later because it is. I think because I pressed recall, I broke it. Right, Madrid departure. Three six left. Uh, that's now set. Uh, and then it's a uh, Rubadillo. Three November. Insert. No discontinuities. And then in Pamplona, we've got this really tricky Arnav circle to land self position approach um so arrival at art there's two it's the art nav 33 not alpha i think it's that one and i don't want to approach via oh i do want via aneku insert so i'm just going to check for any discontinuities here aleppo oh this is so different vasum aleppo Ah, see, I want to get I want to get rid of Pamplona. You see, because I'm not going to complete the routing after Nolsa. I want to go direct to Aneco, and then not Pamplona. So I need to clear Pamplona here, clear, it, and clear the discontinuity insert. There we are. So I've got Nolsa, Aneco, ooh, Nolsa, Aneco, Aleppo. And then it's straight straight in off this R nav approach, which terminates here. And then you fly this VPT onto runway 33, which is pretty cool. Uh, very good. Um, so that's done. Um, that's all loaded. Uh, thank, thanks, James Hodgson. Sorry, I didn't acknowledge your your tip. Thank you very much to the one pound twenty one. So very kind of you. I uh, hope you're doing well. Appreciate the support. What is your your picture? A potato with a pilot's hat on. Interesting. Uh, that's great. Thank you very much. Right, that's done. Now it's performance time. So, uh, okay, the APU will be running now. Yes, uh, yes. When you refuse, when you request clearance and refuse it afterwards, I know, Nick. I just, well, I should sit down and play with it, and then I would have been a pro. But I think it was working. Right. Um, press the home button. Departure performance. Um, so three six left. This tablet's awesome. You can even select your um, weather, and you can also opt for a intersection departure. So we'll take the most conservative Zulu six for three six left. Uh, so that's all in uh, OPT flap. Yeah, take the most efficient one. Force token no. Packs on. Calculate. It is a superb tablet. This I'm just making it a little brighter though. How do I how do I increase the brightness of this? There we are. Captain Spud. <laughs> right, that's all in. So I've got some speeds: 42, 42, 45, 42, 42, 45. It's NADP one in Madrid, so the elevation here. Is 1,900 feet, so we'll put 4, 4,985. So we're going to accelerate at 3,000 feet AGL. My take takeoff shift 500 meters. What's that? Is that to do with the intersection? Flap is all flap two. Ding dong. Flap two DN 0.4 two slash DN. 0.4, whatever that means, and flex temperature is still 65. All right, that's all done. And then APU I bleed on uh, there, and I can disconnect the external power. Bing, there we are. So now that's all done. I can go to Phoenix, I can get rid of the GPU and the chocks and leave that because GSX will do the doors. Uh, V2 Block 2 is going to make it even better. Yes, this is Phoenix's uh, long-awaited updates that uh, I shall try and I need to read <laughs> up what exactly has changed, the different engines and things like that. Ah yes, I, I guess David is to do with the stabiliser deflection. Now remind me, the 320 I have to set that manually, don't I? After engine start, or does that... The 340 does that automatically, don't you? Um, excellent. Uh, no, that's a different alpaca for me. So yeah, I think we're all good. Oh, it's so smooth. 
Love handles, eh? What airline's that? Oh, I've not seen that before. Well, I guess it's Love Hands' special, special livery. Um, there we are. Um, oh, we're doing good for departure time. So let me just, before we get clearance, just brief what we're going to do. Um, so I've got all my charts out ready. So we are on stand. Terminal 4, stand 350. Look how clear this is. Push back, I should think, to face north. Right onto Romeo 4. Look at that. Straight out to 3 6 left via Zulu 4. But I've got uh, was it Zulu 6 figures there. Uh, and then the SID's going to be a Rubber Deal 3 November. So straight ahead to Mike Delta 901, Mike Delta 902. 901, 902. There is a speed limit. Uh, 220 knots, which I'll let the 320 deal with it. All I'm going to do is retract the flaps at 3,000 feet, isn't it? MD920 and then Rubber Dilio. Oh, MD902, sorry, not 920. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that's the other SID. That's why 902, then to Rubber Dilio. That's for the Nando SID. So that's all good. Uh, taxi, SID briefing complete. Uh, very good. Mem3 Town, 2K looks great. Excellent. What are you guys thinking then? You're noticing a difference already? If I zoom in onto the displays, this is what it's going to be nice. So when I'm in the normal seating position, like here, you'll be able to see the numbers a lot clearer than you could before. Um, excellent. So I can now tell GSX that we are ready for push and start. So prepare for push back and departure. There we are. There is the dispatcher. Juarez. With the pin. Excellent. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha, stand 350, request push and start. Alpaca 20 uh, Papa Alpha, push and start approved. Push start approved facing north, Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha. Right, so what else do I need to do? So I've done all the briefings, I've loaded up my FMC. Uh, quickly scroll down for the engine starts. Uh, ah, where is it? Barge clearance, taxi, no. After start, no. Engine start automatic, there we are. So, beacon light on engine mode selector to ignition start. And then it's just moving these up, isn't it? Brad, it looks good on your 32 inch monitor, fantastic. Rosie, it's much better, excellent. Chris, for much smoother, yeah, it's much smoother. My performance in Microsoft Flight Simulator has improved significantly as well. Being lifted up, so anyone watching me on that sim will see my nose going into the ground. So facing north, I want the nose going right. Goal 5, Mike, Juliet, and Delta, al 360. Parking brake is here. 60 FPS, I've capped it, Thomas 13, to 60 FPS to stop microstutters in NVIDIA's panel. Uh, on time departure. I was due out at six o'clock, about two minutes late. Right, starting engine number two. Oh, I was looking for the start switch. <laughs> oh. Ah, sorry, it's already started the push back to face north, Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha. Yes, it's north for you. I thought it was a 2 zero Papa. 5 Delta Papa. Ah, 5 Delta Papa. Oops, sorry, Signora. Uh, right, starting 2. Charlie, what did you do to get better performance? Uh, switch to these monitors. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's just so much smoother for me. Oh, bassy. It's like being in the real plane. Perfect. So when can I go for engine number one? Are you using the frame gen mod? No, Deno. Except there's no kick kicking as you'll see from behind, that's true. 
it's just so crisp for me. Oh, I love it! I'm so happy. What a, what a great investment this was. Right, can I start the engine now? Do I have to wait until it says available or something? There we are, avail. I remember someone telling me to wait for that. Starting one. Woof! There's that barking sound. Ah, proper jets. No, it disappeared into the nether. <laughs> uh. Fantastic. Uh, Mike Delta 11, Captain, you flying the NG or Max in real life nowadays? Both? Ah, yes, someone's called the Fire Brigade. Good idea. What a lovely day in Madrid, though. Just six hours behind live time. The reason is you cannot do a night flight into Pamplona on this approach. It's forbidden. Uh, Uktash, good question. Why do you put the engines to continuous whilst landing in the 737? We just want continuous ignition in case of a flame out. It, it ever so slightly increases the ability for the engine to sustain thrust by a minimal margin um, if the igniters are on eve. Because if the engine loses thrust, ignition will happen automatically, but you've already got continuous ignition before that happens. That's the idea behind it. Right. I think that's two good starts. It says available. So what do I need to do after the start? So engine mode selected to normal. APU bleed switch to off. Engine wing not required. APU off. Ground spoilers arm. Flaps to two. Uh, uh, 0.4 down. 0.4 down. And that's it. After the start checklist, this, anti ice not required. ACAB status checked. Nose wheel steering disconnected. Oh, that, oh, I know what I forgot to do. Confirm engine oh, Can you do that automatically? Otherwise, I've done my after start thing. We're ready for taxi next. Patrick, do you put them into continuous stream terms? Many severe turbulence. And uh, other situation, moderate heavy precipitation. Steve, stream's looking crisp, but excellent. Is anyone here going to join me in the Curtis, by the way? 40 minute flight from uh, Pamplona to Bay Ritz. It's going to be a challenge because of the altitude. Uh, it's already a thousand feet and it climbs like a pig, the, uh, the Curtis. It's really good fun, though. Martin, no control check. Don't you do that on the taxi out in the Airbus? <laughs> Bypass pin removed. Flying, unit, flying walnut Sasha, you're going to join in the jetty. Excellent. Yes, I'll be on the Northern Europe server after, after we've landed. This is only a 40 minute flight. But this approach, you're going to enjoy it. Well, you're going to enjoy watching me struggle. There you go, look. Oh, Jack. Jack? You okay? Oh, he's, he's pooped. He's probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? There we are. Right. The liveries look so good in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right, we'll request taxi now. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha request taxi. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha, right on Romeo, holding point Zulu 4, 36 left. Uh, run Romeo, hold point zero four for 36 left. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha. Perfect. So, just show you Navigraph. Zoom on in. So it's Alpha. first Alpha. right Alpha. on Romeo and hold at Zulu 4, which is this whole point here. I shouldn't get lost. <laughs> right, parking brake. We can release. Don't need to do a config in this beast. Fly Live not working on Microsoft Flight Sim? No. For me personally. I could reinstall FSUI PC. But um, I don't need it. But yes, some people don't seem to miss it. Works okay in Xplane though. What do you, uh, X's on yet? I've got some checks to do before takeoff in the Airbus to do all the order brake and other stuff. Oh, so smooth! Oh, I love it! Right, before takeoff, check this flight controls. On the first of the left. Wiggling the stick. And continue alpha and alpha 10. Uh, order brake to max. Uh, cabin ready, spot is armed. Takeoff config is that button down here, isn't it? 
test yeah, checks complete. <laughs> but we'll do my operator's checks. So aircraft's configured, flaps in two, trim set for departure. It's the rubber deal, yo. Straight ahead till we get to that point there. NADP 1, so we'll accelerate at 5,000 feet. Reviewed, cabin secure, checks complete. We'll put a bit of that on. And uh, that to auto, weather radar on as well. How do you test the rudder if you do the control check whilst taxiing? You, you just yaw left and right quite abruptly. Uh, oh, there's a bit of noise on my uh, joystick. Sir, there is 507 airborne passing uh, 2800 climbing flat of 130. Five zero seven. So the hold point's coming up straight ahead. Five one Alpha Charlie. Wind two fifty zero three four knots. Three two right. Don't let's take off on the taxi, please. I'll try not to. I can have one nine zero. Continue taxi. Kilo Alpha. So looking out for Zulu four. Alpha until Alpha ten. Hold points up here. Tango Tango two nine. Norsky, glad the stream's looking, Chris. Hope you've been keeping well, my friend, as well. Why do you sometimes leave the flaps down during cold weather? Is it to prevent ice buildup? Stop! Uh, they need to check the flap cavities if there's contamination after landing. It's very rarely that's the case. We get enough snow after landing. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha approaching Zulu 4, ready for departure. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha, wind 260 degrees 4 knots. This is left, left the coast. Right, three six left clear. Take off Alpaca two zero Papa Alpha. Uh, I should have I should have done my before taxi thing before it's I did that. So nine nine lights nine. on. Uh, Tango two eight is unavailable now. Uh, Tango uh, three zero. So MCP set Tango transponder is down here. Air Canada, two nine or two nine. TARA strobe lights on. Landing lights on. I think I've done everything. Check this complete. <laughs> right. Ah. Oh. Let's go to Pamplona. Wish me luck on the Ebus departure. I think I've remembered everything. Right, just my timer. There we are. Let's go. Uh, Tiger's in chat. Or Flex SRS, 50% initially in the 320. Perfect, so that's stabilised. Frost leave and climb. Is that right? No. I need SRS blue. Where is it? What's happened? <laughs> what, what, what is, it? is that right? Oh no. Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> Why have I got no man flex? Oh, where it is. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I've got what I was looking for. Stupid machine. V1 rotates. How possible to climb? Well, gears coming up. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, there's NADP1, and I've told it to accelerate it. 3,000 feet, so now I can go to climb. There we are, I'm still hand flying, slash not. <laughs> Manipulating the autopilot with my left oh, hand. Ah, uh, Alpha, Alpha, identify, climb flight level 240. Climb level 240, I'll pack a 20, pop out for File at 2 2, go for 2 4. What does that mean? Nav, ATC, transponder, standby. Ah! Turn. Oh, I can't do it anymore. You autopilot in. Have I, have I forgot to put this on? Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Fantastic. I just, it's great. But how do I update my cruise level then if he's going to. He's going to take me up here to. So, there we are, climb, thrust climb, look at this, I'm above the F, so I can go to flaps 1 plus F, now it's going to accelerate to 220 knots, which is the speed restriction. 
stay here for around one minute to sort things out, and then we can turn to your deck. Yes. Yeah. Waiting for S now for my, my flaps up. Hi, Madrid. Alpha Tassi, Baba Alpha, proceed direct body. Uh, proceed uh, direct to Banev Alpaca 20 Pap Alpha. Good shortcut. Banev insert LNAV engaged. And S, S, S for slats. You're doing what to the autopilot with your left hand? Oh, you wait until you watch me fly this approach, because this is an hard have approach to a vision... Oh, I, I, I tried it earlier, and I got it on the ground, but I just didn't know what it was doing, the automation at one point. It was like, why why are you not flying the speeds I wanted to? I had the button in, and, it, and it, I had it in the FMC to fly 140 knots, but it was doing like 160, it had to go manual. Alright, oh, anyway, better set standard climb to fly level, flaps up no light, standard set, passing 6, 7 for flight level 240 after after takeoff checklist. Uh, so TCAS, TR, engine motors required, APU off, anti ice wing, anti ice is needed after takeoff checklist complete. That's it! Don't have to do anything! Spoilers still are, I'm sorry. Just testing you well, well spotted. Yeah, I had that GS Mini, but it, uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Gear off. Oh wait, yeah, Max. Max has has no off position as well. I'll have you know. <laughs> Excellent. Ah, oh, but yeah, I'm just hoping that the quality is good. I think taking the time getting everything set up yesterday was worth it. Crisp, clear, smooth stream experience for all of my subscribers. All I could ever ask for. Company message not good for my OCD. Uh oh, what does that mean? Speed error at Anacu. Shut up. <laughs> Where, where's company messages? Uh, oh, I, I don't know how to get to it. Data, menu, MCDU, at suit. And then it's this one, isn't it? Received messages. Pre departure clearance. Clearance received. Standby. To viewed. No, I did it. 300 knots. I need a slower speed, more time for this flight. <laughs> now I wanna, I'm going to fly at 250, so I'm going to pull this out. I'll do 260. The reason is I need every minute to set this up, make sure I'm doing it correctly. So I'm going to fly at 260 knots. Company message: You're fired. Company message: Why did you not put it into the correct detent on takeoff? I put it in. Clue. I thought that was what I had to put it in, not. FLX MCT, but I was in the wrong notch, wasn't I? Stupid machine. Let me set the first. There we are. Is this the, is it the new version? No, this is the the current public version of the Phoenix A320. I'm sure if I ask very nicely, then their Block 2 Super Update comes. They will uh, send me a copy, and we could do a, a day of airbusing. Mike Delta, there's a YouTube video. Can a pilot of a 320 land the 737? It doesn't look very easy the other way around either. <laughs> I think I might have seen it. A Jacob, yes, a simpleton dinosaur plane pilot. Look, I am. Um... Yeah, I tell you, I know you put it in the Flex MCT for takeoff. I just couldn't find the notch. Still flying the uh, fine machine like an experienced Airbus pilot, of course. Adrian, great news. Thank you very much. Quality of stream is great. Fantastic. Uh, did I, I need to do my pre-cruise check so my lights off, nose off, turn off lights off, pressurization is never so I'll be doing Alpha it. And uh, seatbelts off. Three, six, left, yeah, left, yeah. Left. Do one service before we arrive, check's complete. Because Chris says we all know you want a real nice 320 tie rating. Yeah, I don't need, yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got my Phoenix 320 rate, it's all I need. Jump in, no problem. Oops. Although I did just extend the speed brake <laughs> in climb. <laughs> there we are. Stow. Super. 
Europe. You need to play the Fly Day to Sim Airbusing video. Which one that I level I hate? <laughs> but it's a beautiful day here in Madrid. Yeah, so I'll just show you, for those of you who want to join me on the second sector online, so we're flying here, look, to Pamplona. Our second sector takes us from Pamplona to Bayritz, which is here. And we have, because the Curtis doesn't climb very well, we have to follow the road all the way there. Proper VOR. So we're going to follow this road here. Uh, no, I think we'll follow this one to the left. And we need to climb. It goes into a tunnel here. So we then have to climb follow this this snaky trail and I nearly crashed into a mountain earlier and then we'll make a right turn follow this snaky trail and there is Bab uh, Bayrit sorry uh, and it takes about 40 minutes in the Curtis Jenny so yes uh, very much going to be having a laugh at that one it's a, it's a great fun plane though Alpha Car 2 Papa Alpha Contact Madrid frequency 132 decimal 980 you get your fly by a 132980, thank you very much to the ATC, Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha, uh, can take a one here. That's the only bit of Spanish I know. <laughs> Perfect, over to Madrid. Madrid, what is that? Is Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha, climb flight level 240 to Banev. Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha Madrid, good evening, identified, Play the climbing play level 240. Papa Alpha 240, Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha. Red Bull style playing through the tunnel. It's not there though. <laughs> I do find it interesting that TK Premier is featuring an Airbus. The reason is, Brandon, I think it's one of the most detailed and textured cockpits available. And everyone loves me. I loves it when I fly this thing. No, it's not loved, but uh, everyone enjoys it when I fly this aeroplane. Right, so there's top of climb. I, I brought the speed back to 260 knots because there's top of descent in about 50 miles. In fact, can I start loading up the next page? Ah, oh, look. He's just uh, having a little yawn. Uh, whilst I... Whilst you look at Jack, I will find the uh, FMC page. I think he's... Can air 10 3, 2, 9, 8, contact Euro Control bits. West frequency 135 okay. decimal 125. Yeah, we're getting a little bit more comfortable, aren't we? Euro Control West frequency 125. Uh, oh, yeah, just oh, there you are. Uh, right, is there a way I can start loading this up? Next phase, cruise, next phase, descent, next phase. Yes, look. Start loading this up now. So Pamplona, QNH is. 1028. Uh, temperature is 12. Wind is. Uh, it's variable 2 knots. Oh! So, first the wind. Right. Would you like me to do this really tricky, difficult RNAV approach? Or would you like me to do the easy ILS approach? <laughs> I think it's going to be a bit of a, a stupid question. <laughs> So th this is the approach I've planned. Which is, uh, quite a tricky visual prescribed track onto the airport. Yes, Arnav tricky. Yes, brilliant. Harold, you, I like your yes, easy. I like your thinking, but I think the tricky approach. <laughs> Edo, no need to ask. Yep. <laughs> right, I will set that up. Enter destination data. Patience. The wind is variable two knots, so I'll put. Just put uh, three three zero slash. Madrid Center, good evening. Air Portugal seven eight three passing two five Spe zero. Set managed speed. Zero, oh, what zero. speed's that though? No, three hundred knots. No, two sixty, please. Every knot, I go slower here, the better. Uh, that's all done. The, the barrow minimums then. So it's the RMP approach. 3,010 feet for category C. Right, so that's all done. Oh, I, I need my fixed rate situation awareness. I think I can just select any of these, can't I? No, that side is it. Air France 592, Madrid, leaving So 3-3, three, three, I need to put in the I KO codes, Lima Echo Papa Papa. And then 3-3. Three, three. Oh, yeah. 10 miles. That's just for situation awareness on the approach because it is tricky. Right, so what we're going to do, we're routing in via Aneku, guys. So what I'll do, I'll uh, 
bring up the FMC here plan. Oh, let me just get the FMC in the right position and the ND if I can. Let's make this a little bit smaller. There we are. So I'll try my best to step through it so you can see the ND and the FMC as well. Oh, that's tricky. Uh, so we're going to route in via null serve and Aneku. So it starts at Aneku. So the first thing you can see on the chart, Aneku, is a speed restriction. Oops, I'm just going to go this way. Uh, so Aneku, you see that 185 knots out above 6000, that's fine. Papa Papa 505 is the next waypoint. Uh, six five, no problem. Papa Papa five one zero four five five one seven. Papa Papa five one five uh, is the final approach fix. So you can see here, Papa Papa five one five at four thousand five hundred. That's great because that is the initial approach fix. There. Echo, does say kilo five foot, above, that's uh, fine. So the three point two one, degree yeah, path. How do you check the path in the two FMC? Two I don't know. Two. But it goes down to the minimums at Papa Papa 520. It's using the Cat Demon, so that's fine. Triple three zero. I'll set that then, actually. Can use Cat D, otherwise, you know, we won't get the call out at the appropriate time. So, ah, oh, many pages! I don't know if I, I, if I need to add anything in an Airbus or not. Yeah, that, that's it. it. It's an Airbus. It's going to take me all the way to there. Now, my question is, how on earth do I do this bit in the Airbus? When I get to Papa Papa 520, I have to either do one of two things. Go around, just climb in this direction to Papa Papa 550, or disconnect and hand fly visually there. How do I do that in the Airbus? I'm gonna, what I did on my test sector, I disconnected my autopilot and I left the order throttle in. And I just turned off the flight directors. But then it started going VS and stuff like that, and I was like, no, it go away. <laughs> Just disconnect. Dave, I like your thinking. Add the points manually. No, it's a visual manoeuvre. I'm not going to add these points. And I don't think they'd be coded in the FMC anyway. So this is a visual described track. Now, some approaches in real life are coded. Uh, coded correctly, but I want to do this bit visually, so I'm going to look out for the toll, look out for the fuel station, and land. Flight directors off, bird on. Bird. <laughs> That's it, anyway. I'll just do the landing performance, and I've got it here. Unfortunately, the little aeroplane doesn't display, so you can't see if you're off it. Uh, but uh, let's just do the aerial performance. So, runway will be 3 3. Refresh meta, lovely day. Landing weights, I'll probably burn another ton of fuel between now and here, so. 63.7 we'll go with. Uh, what a break. I think low didn't work when I tried it earlier. Let's try that. Uh, how do I, how do I press calculate again? Yeah, look, off the ends of the runway, we have low water brake, so medium water brake, that works. 15.50, and I've got to go to the end anyway. So, water brake medium. Just to show you the airport here. And second detent reverse. Press heading V, track FB button now. You'll get an idea of the info that gets presented. Heading V, track FBA button, okay. Uh, yeah, landing then, just to show the performance. There we are. So I've got to go, I've got to go all the way. I'm going to land on the three, three, get to the end, 180 backtrack, and it's a tiny little, tiny little apron look with just uh, four stands. And this is a real world flight operator. I think they take the Embraer from Madrid, I think. So there we are. Uh, right. There we are. Press heading V. Where are these buttons? Heading V. And track FPA. Where are these? Where are these buttons? Is this in the FMS? I don't know. It it seems all okay. Heading V. Heading vertical speed. Where are these buttons? I like pull pull them and stuff. I don't know. 
middle of FC. Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha, Marie. Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha, go ahead. Alpaca 2 0 uh, Papa Alpha. Uh, clear for north side, one Yankee arrival for uh, RMP approach runway 33. Uh, cleared for the arrival, expecting RMP for runway 33, Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha. Just confirm that arrival again, please. Sure, arrival north side, one Yankee. And also one Yankee, thank you, Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha. I'm not doing that. Oh, how do, how do I put that in quickly? I've, I've just rooted direct. Oh, that goes all the way to Pamplona, but I don't want to do that. Uh -oh. <laughs> They, oh no, look, that's what I want, to an echo. Right, quick, quick, quick. See if I can fix this. Oh, why didn't I see that before? Oh no, look, it's okay, look, Nolsa and echo. I'm sort of doing it, Nolsa and echo. Perfect. Oh, I've got a lot of above the order, lots of instructions. Oh, I'm going to get high now. And I, I like going 260 knots. Oh, there's my top of the point. Let's bring my speed back to the... Alpine 4 7 Yankee Mike, descent flight level 330. Right, uh, I think three, we're all three, good three, to go. Alpine 4 7 Mike, Yankee Mike. Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha, request descent. Alpaca, Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha, descent flight level 100. Descent flight level 100, Alpaca 2 0 Papa Alpha. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to push Bolo, this in. Bolo, Bolo, two, four, Papa so, Lima, identify pull. Level so it's three, level four, change zero, descent. Fly, they, they, two, because I'm a little bit high on profile. Speed <laughs> error at Aneku. No, I want to do 185 knots. And I'm 600 feet high. Now, if I actually, no, wait, if I push this in, push, it's going to do its. Yes. You, yeah, you do it, play. I'll find 47 Yankee Mike, leaving my space. Yeah, yeah, there's my green dot look. Haha, <laughs> profile. Top of descent, ladies and gentlemen, we're in bound to Pamplona. Uh, in the descent already. Alpine 4 7, Yankee Mike, leaving my space, monitor Unicorn. Oh, play with Bob it, twist. Uh, <laughs> Pull it, push it. <laughs> oh, look, it says RNAV 3 3. Now, I've got that approach logic on, so when I, I can press approach, can't I? And it'll follow the. the like an ILS? Control there, up to a certain point, control. but obviously, don't forget this arrival. Terminate. And then the runway is here, so I've got to do this bit visually. Flying that from Papa Papa 520. And it's not programmed, so no Airbus in the world. As well as 507 Madrid, leaving my space, monitor you go goodbye. Sorry, drone cam. Beautiful crisp textures. A phenomenal viewing experience. Oh, right, I'm about to start the flight recorder as well. Beautiful. Tamanga, let's see your manual flying skills. A manual flying skills at an Airbus. Such a thing. Airport uh, one three five six Madrid identify flight level four hundred. Small tip: press constraint button above the range. Yeah, Remember someone telling me that ten. last stream. Uh, so yep. five zero seven uh, monitor unicorn. You are now leaving my space. Enjoy your flight. Goodbye. Oh, well, we're descending here. But for the VFR flight, we'll st still stream six hours before, before live time, but we use live weather. Weather's really nice here for the for the flight to Beirut in the Curtis Jenny. Good evening, Madrid. Griffin 77 Charlie with you. Flight level 330. I've got plenty of gas. Evening, took an extra 30 minutes. I'll turn 30. as Barcelona. Need 2.9 to divert. I'll put the seatbelt sign on now, if I forget.
very nice. You're having too much fun and excitement in the bus. Should we be concerned? Are you uh, are you gone gone? No, I'm fine. But it, it is I'll the most complete the package I think in any sim. Alpaga five Delta Papa uh, voice not received. Please check your microphone. Oh dear, someone's having issues with their mic. But yeah, ETA. Uh, that's going to be on the progress page. No, flight plan page twelve forty three. So t ten minutes apparently. Airport seven Tango Whiskey Madrid. Well, that's actually not to the airport. That's that termination point. I think the bit we're interested in is here ahead, we're flying between this valley and then the airport's literally just there. It's fantastic visibility today. Tom, very cheeky, I need you back for your last 320 that only financial compensation. Well done. Thanks to Sarah for the 320 short. I'll get the app open, but I won't start it until I get below 10,000 feet. Uh, uh, 4,000 uh, feet above you. Yeah, I know, Steve. Manual Airbus. I can't get my head around it, but I'm going to be doing it. We're going to have to. It's getting a bit low on speed here. What point does it. Well, I know the thrust levers won't move. Uh, at what point does it add thrust to get back to its target speed? Steph, did Phoenix by any chance let you know that they're releasing this update? Nothing on their Discord at the moment. I don't know any information about that. They did very kindly contact me today, saying, Oh, you see you're streaming the Phoenix A320. Would you like a copy to give away to your subscribers? So, like, oh, yes, please. So, yeah, massive thanks to Phoenix, uh, who I've worked with in the past when they released the aircraft. Very fortunate to get early access. So, so yeah, I'm not an Airbus expert. I can get it from A to B. But uh, they did very kindly give me a copy to give away, which I'll roll after landing in... Where are we going? Pamplona. <laughs> uh, Dave says, manual airbus is nice, like Control was doing, which, by the way, was incredibly fun in real life as well. Ah, I've never used it in the real plane. Same, yes. No, I didn't like it at all. Elias says, can you lower the temperature? It's a bit hot in the cabin. Uh, where's that? Oh, yeah, it's actually a bit like the... Uh, Actually, I'm, I'm sweating a bit of it. <laughs> right, so remember, this point here, I need to be at 185 knots in 15 miles. Um, there was two Roman Mike in Tarab and Tushakabru, we facing to the east. Tarab and Pushback facing east. Yeah, the airport's here, the, the approach station between these two valleys. Reason, if we already have the Phoenix, can we win the 390, 320? No, it's just for the current Phoenix A320. So yes, please don't enter the giveaway if you have the Phoenix A320. They don't. Do they even have a 390, 321 yet? Two yet three two Echo Madrid contact Europe Control West one three five decimal one two five. Good evening. One three five one three five two two Echo Madrid. Okay. Fantastic day. That sound is so realistic in the cabin. Really good. So we're on the arrival now after Nolset direct to Aneku. I'll do the post cruise checks now. I'll just turn this on now. So fuel lights, hang the bank pressurizations, all good seat belts. Alpaca two zero Papa Alpha, flight level seven zero. So flight level seven zero, Alpaca two zero Papa Alpha, seven zero checked. And these are D cell points, aren't they? The D, I guess that's to get down to one eight five knots. Jack and Dylan, there's all the counts when it comes to temperature. Yes, Dylan's gone back to uh, my. And well, I say my brother-in-law. I'm engaged now, but it will, my future brother-in-law today, so it's just Jack now. The D is where the approach logic starts. Okay. 
Oh, do I need to say approach in a mode now then? Or does that do it automatically? I'm just going to use a bit of speed brake here. I've got a company message, but I'm disregarding. Two yet eight young Charlie Malik and Charlie Good evening and Quark four four six one. Four four zero one three Charlie. Uh negative four four six oh. one. Oh what's, what's it doing four, now? Four, oh lateral deviation, vertical deviation. Oh, did it do that earlier? I didn't do that earlier. Oh, but I, I think it's because I didn't go via Anakin. Oh, this is interesting. Sure. Sure. Oh, look at this. Right, I'm taking an extra flops now. So I need to do 185 knots at Aneku. Where's my plane? Now oh, there I am. Max 185 knots. So I can now go another natural flops below to oh no, need to be below 200 knots, don't I? So below 200 knots. Flat two. And now it's going to do 185 knots. Why is it level at 80? Keep descending, please. Well, I've just passed the initial uh, approach fix. I presume I've been cleared approach. <laughs> Charlie He's beginning two. to believe. <laughs> uh, I'll to I'll <laughs> pack a 2-0, I'm just passing a Neku now on the Arnav approach. Speed, Q-Nets, uh, <laughs> 1 clear for RMP approach runway 33, please report final. Uh, clear RMP approach runway 33 and set with the procedure, Q-Nets uh, is uh, 1028, so I'll pack a 2 zero, Papa Alpha. So next altitude 4,500. Right, just leave it now, don't I? Uh, a set Q and H. God damn it. Set Q and H1028. Ah! Where's my vertical deviation gone? Ah! No! What? I thought it would have taken that into account. 300 feet high. Okay, I'll jam that speed brake out. Whee! <laughs> Approaching 10 miles already. Right, round it goes. Here comes with vertical deviation. Papa Papa five one zero. Can I press approach now then, or can I just leave it in this? It's doing a good job in L Nav and V Nav, isn't it? Alright, the speed's good now. Back to one eight five. Alpha Kappa is at the Papa Play level seventy. I'll arm it so. Oh wow, look at this. The airport is there. So this Arnav approach wiggles you between these two mountains. Hello, Toro 4x4, it goes, ooh, yes, appro oh, approach now. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Down we go, approach 10 miles. Hello, Toro 4x4, nine months. Ooh, alive, he says. Thank you very much, buddy. Hope you're doing well for your continued support as a member. Appreciate it. Oh, now I can set my go around altitude. Oh, this is superb. 6,000 feet. And it won't level off, will it? Ooh, ooh, it's a bit bumpy. Right. Now, Papa Papa 510. That's the initial fix. Next is the final approach fix. Uh, Papa Papa 515. Oh, this is amazing. Approach before the point with the descent angle in the FMC. Well, it's not levelled off at the missed approach. We'll leave it descending, and then I do need to disconnect here because it will follow. The, it'll, otherwise, it will follow the missed approach. Remember, when I go here, I need to break slightly to the right and do the VPT procedure. Right, I'm at ten miles now. So once I pass the final approach fix, I'll put the gear down. I'm a bit too fast for the flaps. Oh, I think this is the turbulence blowing off the mountains. Or the wind turbines are making somebody now. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop the gear now. Just because I just want to get a bit of drag, bring the speed back. I'll drop the flaps next. Gear down. In this close, we'll do all the speed for me, won't you? That's it. Checked. 
Let's. Oh, it's about to pass the FAF. It's done a CDA, so the FAF is 4,500. Let's see what it does. Someone said it might level off. So there's the FAF. Please descend, please descend, please descend. It's going down the, the path! Landing flap. Oh, GS Mini! <laughs> yeah, boys! And girls. <laughs> Papa Papa 520, look at this! Oh, this is just... I've I'm, I'm not done anything! This is a really tricky approach in the 7.3. I'll be setting this and checking that, pressing vertical speed. Now I can go down to the the MDA and then fly visually. Uh, where's the runway? Ah, over there somewhere. Well, we'll just wing it. Should better get Toby Eye Tracker up and running. Yeah. Right. So next thing, so, that, so what do I do when I disconnect? Do I just, uh, do I have to recycle things? Right, approaching, approaching the missed approach uh, point. I'll switch over to the VPT chart. Right. Uh, right, 300 feet to go. On Iron, maintain runway heading and straight vectors. Uh, initial right. What do I do? What do I do at minimums? Autopilot off, flight directors off, four, four, track FP. Right, I'm going to do that now because it's only half a mile. So autopilot off. Clear to Porto. Flight director. Uh, flight directors off. And that button. Uh, continue. Right. I, I meant to see the airport. I can't. But I'll just follow the VPT chart. I'm completely hand flying this. So it's a slight right turn. Just to track, just sort of track this terrain here. I'm just going to keep descending here. Uh, and this is proper Airbus. Why is it 3.4 degrees? What's the elevation again? 1500. I'm just, just going to keep descending. <laughs> There's it. Oh, I feel really high here. It's darling a thousand feet. Oh, this, this GS Mini is great, isn't it? Oh, look at this. Four whites, though. But that's fine. We're not flying towards the runway yet. Right, that's about three whites now. Check, so I'm going to start turning final. Where's my trend vector? Oh, I've not been cleared to land yet. Uh, two reds, two whites. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Alpaca 2 zero, Papa Alpha, final runway 3-3. Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha, uh, runway 33, uh, wind calm, clear to land. Runway 33, clear to land, Alpaca 20, Papa Alpha. This is just superb! Oh, I, I just look at this! I just did a. Oh. I just airbust a tricky approach. With, with help from chat. Right, now another bit of tip I was given to me today is you don't need to wait until retard to close the thrust levers when you're hand flying. You can do it when you wish. It's more for an auto land system. Checked. Oh, did you did you just see that, guys? Right, have I, cabin secure, uh, gear down, flaps, checks complete, Mr. Approach altitude set. <laughs> Ow, this is, <laughs> this is just amazing. Uh, I want to have a go at one of these. Bit of a display threshold. Oh, what's going on? Frost levers, silly noise, right? Oh, a little bounce. Oh, speed breaks up. Oh, that was a bit of noise from my frost levers that went into the go around mode. Right, reverses, 100 knots. Oh, 80 knots. <laughs> it was minus. 338 feet. Mm, 60 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pamplona. <laughs> I love that. That was so cool. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I need to sort out my Thrustmaster Airbus side stick. The little throttle's got so many noise issues now. When I go to idle, it just sort of spikes up loads. I went to idle and it just spiked up. Come on. 
Argentina 1 1 3 That was the most fun I've had in an Airbus. Uh, <laughs> but no, that, honestly, that approach was wicked. And I think I sort of did an okay-ish job. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, but I really have to fa say thanks to the guys in chat about this FD autopilot off and pressing this button here. That that really helped. This had all the appropriate guidance there. That's mega. Yeah, I don't know, it's annoying to Mango. When I went to idle, it, it, there's noise in my thrust lever uh, on the little one on the Airbus, so it, it just spikes up all the time. So I should have brought, plugged in my Boeing thrust levers at least. Uh, Martin, could you use differential thrust? Yeah, absolutely. You want to do it on the outbound engine when you're doing tight turns. See, look, when I go idle, look, it just sort of... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You want to run a mic climb fly level 360, right? Ah, oh, that was climb that was climb level 360, your wings to warm your mic. I right, to get AP up and running. I'll spawn on the Curtis guys uh, on the runway in runway 33. This obviously won't be on Vatsim. That will be on the Northern Europe server in about 15 minutes. We'll have a quick break before we do our next flight. Just a bit of fun GA flight. We're going to go to Beirut. The Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha just vacating runway 33. Two Valencia with information echo. A little bit of quick for that to... Good evening, standby. Perfect, they can come off strobes. Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha, the uh, Alpha is stand number four. Uh, via Alpha for stand number four. Thank you very much, ATC Alpaca 20 Papa Alpha. Okay, take a moment, yeah. <laughs> I think he was so shocked by my Spanish that uh, he didn't know what to do. Right, uh, I don't know if the GSX profile will work. No, no suitable parking stands. Okay, yeah, just default stock airport. Stand number four. Uh, I don't know where it is. Um, no, it's, the, it's the first remote stand here. There we are. I'll take this right. Oh, my, my spoilers are still out. Oh, no, I forgot to do the replay! Oh, sorry guys! Oh no! Oh... I forgot to start the flight record. I opened it, forgot to start it. That's a beautiful terminal building, yes. Uh, APU's available. Right, what else do I need to do in the taxi? And I don't think there's much else. Right. Ooh. I've just realised how the parking works. So yeah, on tight turns like this... Just add thrust on the outboard engine. Don't actually thrust on the inboard engine. Uh, actually works against you if you're trying to do a really tight turn, which I am trying to do. But I've overcooked it slightly. Oh, <laughs> not a fan of taxiing in this sim. Ah! Minimums. Uh. Minimums. Minimums. Approaching. Minimums. There we are. I'm meant to be something like over here. Uh, now I've gone too far. Come on. <laughs> I've overshot the mark slightly, but... <laughs> hey, that's not bad. If I was just about six... No, about 20 feet further back, I would have been fine. But my nose wheel's all on a crook now. There you go, look. Oh, I think I've added too much thrust. Let me just get my nose wheel straight. There we are, perfect. All good, professional streamer here. Uh, parking brake is <laughs> set. <laughs> oh my god. Let me now uh, uh, shut the engines. It's just that, isn't it? Boom, done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pamplona. Oh dear. Let's see how GSX awarded me. Do I want to end my flight? Yes. Uh, I might get penalised. Uh, good, so APU's running, seatbelt sign off, no smoking off, uh, oh no, I want to leave those armed. Uh, beacon light, where are you? That can come off. <laughs> yes, that's bad of me. I think that's pretty much it. Check, check's complete. <laughs> oh yeah, my light's on. A slightly skew-whiff nose wheel, but uh, we'll turn this off.
Right, I'll, I'll close New Sky, then we'll roll the giveaway for the 320 on behalf of Phoenix. So if you don't have the Phoenix A320, feel free to enter. No point entering if you own the aircraft already, guys. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, my lights. My lights. My lights. I thought I'd turn them off. Uh, off. Turn off lights. There we go. Perfect. Right, let me let me just uh, close the New Sky app. Oh, sorry, I closed the flight. Flight to get New Sky up here. Just turn down the simulator as well. Uh, so, what did what did I score on this flight then? So 9.95! I'll have you know. Minus 0.05 for an average touchdown. 338 feet a minute. Okay, that's a firm landing. Uh, but it was in the threshold in the touchdown zone. Two meter centerline deviation. Not bad at all. Did I make money for the initial airline? I did look. Four thousand three hundred dollars. Not bad score, have you know? Oh, very good. Right then, who would like a chance of winning a copy of the Phoenix A320? Once again, a massive thank you to Phoenix for sponsoring this. I'll get Nightbot set up here in the background. Uh, I like it how I've got the nose wheel slightly turned. It looks cool. <laughs> There we are, so Nightbot, I didn't get any of this set up before the stream. So I need to find a keyword, uh, commands, giveaways, spam protection, no, giveaways, keyword. Right, listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once. Put the answer in chat once only. If you put in more than once, anti-spam is enabled. So if you put the answer to my question in twice, uh, it'll throw you out the giveaway. So only answer once. Domino Mosina Daffy, behave yourselves. So please type in chat Phoenix. F E N I E X. Lowercase, uppercase, it doesn't matter. No, don't ignore them. Ignore them. <laughs> Put Phoenix in chat. Uh, Craig, <laughs> thank you. People are listening. I'll never forgive you lot for that time where you said, I was saying this and everyone started saying, once and then everyone started putting once because they put it in. Reese, good one. <laughs> Excellent. Very happy how the sim's working. Ultra smooth. Oh, these, these monitors, the picture in front of me is superb. I'll let that roll for a couple minutes, just in case you're watching the stream with a bit of lag. Perfect. Just so you're aware as well, on the next sector, I'll just bring up Navigraph, I'll be spawning on Runway 33 engines running in the... What is it? We're taking Curtis Jenny, JN4 Jenny, and we'll be flying VFR in this old school, really old school biplane. We're going to be following this road here, climbing. We need every single inch of this flight to climb up to the height, to cross over the mountains, the highest point there, 4,200. We need to get about 3,000 wow. feet in the Jenny, and then we're going to be going here towards Donos, onwards to Beirut. Flight time about 40 minutes. You've got to take the Curtis Jenny. You're not allowed to take anything else. No Jumbos, no Cessnas. No, I'm joking. You can take what you like, but I want to have a formation of Curtis Jennies <laughs> going to Beirut. Welcome aboard, Shelbster. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for subscribing. Good graphics update. Looks decent. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed all the increased quality. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Nah. Yeah, lay down then. Lay down. Come on. Lay down. Out of point. Out of point. You looking at me? Oh, oh, some kisses. Yeah, you good boy, aren't you? Good boy. Right then, shall we roll the giveaway? And see who the winner is. So the winner of the Phoenix Airbus A320 is. Uh, <laughs> list of in. Uh oh, it's going to be rigged. Oh no, it's it's a member of the channel. Oh no, and a mod. It's uh oh, <laughs> it's genuinely not rigged. I don't think he, he he's won a qu quiz. It, oh no, I'm going to have so much fit banter now as well. Uh, well done, list of in. <laughs> Wait, hold on. 
I haven't I haven't done my famous a famous uh, ding dong here. Super rigged, I oh know. Wait, well done. <laughs> Matt, Matt and Rig done something brilliant. It's been a long time. He says, "Well done, list him in." Well, we'll we'll message afterwards and, and get that sent over. That people are gonna think if it's a, a moderator or a member, it's rigged. But yeah, hey, this is from Phoenix. Makes no difference to me. <laughs> well done, buddy. Right then, so. What I'll do, I'll put you back to the Be Right Back screen. I'll just take a quick sort of, uh, sort of five, six of a minute break, take Jack outside from the toilet, and then I'll be back in the Curtis Jenny here in Pamplona. The uh, IATA ICAO code is Lima Echo, or the ICAO code is Lima Echo Papa Papa. North Europe server in the Curtis Jenny for our VF flight to, VFR flight to Beirut. So I hope you enjoyed the stream so far, guys. If you are enjoying it, don't forget to like it. And if you're just watching Curiosity, subscribe to Step Step Links content. And I'll see you in about uh, five, ten minutes, guys. Cheers.
Hello again. Here we, here we are. Not a sound we often hear at the Flight Egg Sim channel. In the Curtis Jenny. There's several spawned on top of me, uh, I noticed. <laughs> you can see they're all there. But we've got aircraft behind, aircraft in front, aircraft on the apron. But yes, it's uh, spitting away nicely. I don't know much about this aircraft. I should have done a bit of research before we started the stream. But uh, yes, we'll be flying uh, from here. Uh, Pamplona, uh, directly north pretty much, uh, following this road here and then this road sort of via this point called Donos and then directly to the, the city. So yes, about 45 minutes is going to take. So yes, uh, without further ado, also I can turn that on so you can enjoy Jack watching, or uh, eating his bone because he's very happy there. There you are. Uh, if you want to see a dog in complete heaven, I shall take, take this off here so he's more comfortable. There you go. Enjoy your, enjoy your bone then. <laughs> because that's more fun to watch than me flying a Curtis Jenny. Uh, there we are. So, uh, FMC programmed, yes. Um, there is uh, multiple seating positions. I think the pilot primarily sits in the back seats. The, the, the person... Oh, I can't see myself. There, uh, here. I put a little bit of extra fuel on board as well, just so we don't run out of fuel. But, uh, yes, if you're ready, we'll, uh, there's no parking brake. We'll just set full power. And go, go from there. There we go. Oh, we're off. Uh, tails up. And we're airborne. It's uh, not the quickest of uh, aeroplanes. Now, I'll do a little bit of an orbit just to allow everyone to catch up. Because you've got to sort of keep it with full power. Uh, how's the noise, guys? Is it. Uh, how? I hope the sim's not too loud. What's the top speed? It's about. Uh, I need to trim this out a bit. 80 miles an hour. This guy's got the right idea. The 150. I'll just do a little bit. I'm just going to slow down slightly. Just let the other guys catch up. So I can. Otherwise, no autopilot. No. But it doesn't even have an airspeed indicator. Uh, oh, there's a 150, which is very sporty in comparison. Now it has an altimeter, which is here. So I'm at uh, 1,800 feet. So it's got RPM, oil gauge, and a temperature gauge. That's it. <laughs> I'll, I'm going a little bit slow just to let these guys catch up. This. Uh, so what we'll do, I'll make it turn north. Shadow, you can't see here, so I'm going to go directly overhead. I'm playing over there. I've got a compass on my smartphone. <laughs> there we go. We'll go towards where Neosi is. Right, I've slow, I'm going to slow down a little bit, just let these guys catch up. There's no airspeed information, apart from on my phone saying 46 knots. It has a tablet early, early Airbus. Oh, I'm about to stall here, so I hope these guys can catch up quick. Oh, I'm invisible. What is it made of? Wooden fabric. There's Flying Walnut right behind. <laughs> I'm going to do some S turns. I don't want to go any slower than this, so I could quite easily stall. 46 knots. <laughs> Jack, where's that bone gone? Where's that bone gone? Has he had the whole lot already? You greedy, absolute greedy so and so. <laughs> this is very poor maneuverability. There we are. They are beginning to catch up though. Oh, crikey. There comes Rinsler and his Jenny. Duck speak as well. Bad boy Cox. Flying Walnut there. And we're catching up. Right, I'm going to have to add a bit of power because I'm going to stall here. <laughs> Fantastic. Pitch and power. <laughs> What's my attitude? What power setting can you set? Don't. Uh, Feel that if you need to slew to get to me, feel free to do so. Right, I'm going to sort of level off here and go north. We need to head towards uh, this sort of valley here, basically where the OC is. Amazing. Right, I think Jack's finished eating his bone. Duck Spinks zooming on ahead there. Let's go catch up with him. Not all my, I'm going to go just below full power. for bone not found. Brilliant. 
Uh, thank you very much to whoever that was that donated Rock uh, Root Talon. That's uh, not the first time you've donated, so thank you very much uh, for your for your generosity again. Do small planes require the same clearance as bigger planes to take off? Uh, how do you mean, like the wake turbine separation? Or the same clearance as bigger planes to take off? Uh, you mean like uh, takeoff clearance from ATC? Absolutely. Uh, there's duck speak down there. Oh look, there's the 150 by Rosie Quartz. 50, 40. Oh, there's, 30, your, there's your donation. 20, oh, thank you. 10. Very generous of you. Thank you. I think that's what you're referring to. Do small planes require the same clearance as bigger planes to take off? Absolutely, yes. They still need their clearance. Absolutely. Thank you very much for your, your donation, sir. There's bad boy Cox in his Curtis. I think some people are there as well. Flying Walnut too. All right, I'm, I'm heading to... Oh, I'm heading the wrong way. I need to go this way. Bye, Jack. Should uh, should race the Blerio. <laughs> it's wing 42 still updating his uh, Boeing 247 and his Blerio. I don't know. Just let Jack out. So it's quite warm in here with the PC. <sighs> Rocky meant takeoff goes. Yes, absolutely. Small aircraft would require takeoff goes. But I mean, when this aircraft was flying around, delivering post in the US, there was no such thing as ATC really. I probably didn't even have a radio. There's Listman coming in his uh, TBM. I'll definitely catch up. Cosmic Frog's going over there. It's actually flying better than it did on my test sector. Here is Pamplona, the city. What's the fuel consumption? Uh, uh, well, I have that much left. <laughs> Just over half a tank. There's AVH pilot as well. Uh, the T47 hasn't been updated since it came out, really. That's a shame. Uh, Mr. Min sort of seeking in his TBM down there at 2200. What's my altitude? See, I'm at almost 3000 feet here. It's really interesting because when I did my test sector, it didn't perform anywhere near as well as this. Maybe it's because I lowered the weight slightly. Yeah, if you're in if you're in the Curtis Jenny, make sure your payload. I put zero because it it doesn't climb at all. So I put zero on the payload. You might get a slightly performer, better performing Curtis then. Bad boy Cox 1959 is just taking it rear. Those guys are well over there. Where are they where are they going? Need to follow this road, you see. This road is the only way out, otherwise the mountains get in the way. This one goes 70 knots, no problem. Must be a higher cost than next brilliant. But yes, hopefully, as I said, this is all about testing the FPS. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Silky smooth. Michael Andrew, I've never used the Microsoft Flight Sim that multiple. I don't know what I'm doing. Brilliant. Yes, you need to be in uh, a Northern Europe server. And there's Duck Speak, had a bit of power. Mount 51's going to play catch up. This is live weather, by the way. Just six hours behind live time. Sub dogfight. It's not very manoeuvrable. That's full right. And then full left look. That's as manoeuvrable as it is. It's not as manoeuvrable, I don't think, as those World War One. Well, actually, they were pretty manoeuvrable, weren't they? This again, it's really good for Toby Eye Tracker. Fantastic. Look at that. Ah, I just saw a Jenny. Don't know if she's just sort of slewing around. And can we engage out of Yeah, where's my tray table? Actually, you might laugh. I got to show you something.
<laughs> it's an Airbus. <laughs> uh, oh no. <laughs> what a really. You couldn't do any paperwork on there. We're blowy. <laughs> right, anyway, we're following this uh, road from Pamplona through the mountains towards Al Mandoz. And then we'll make a right turn there. And there's Duck Speak down in the valley. Uh, more features than NG. Brilliant. Well done, Spurious Podge. And Airbus. Is there a rudder trim? Uh, no, I don't think so. It has elevator trim. Fly by wire. Yeah, look, it's fly by wire. Look. There's the wire. <laughs> In pitch, it's quite manoeuvrable. Like a pop pop lane, isn't it? Duck speaks in the valley. There's the road we're following. Oops, just realised that we rest of it. <laughs> One cable snaps and it's over for you. It's just a different type of fly, isn't it? But look at the visuals in the sim. So cool. There's Rinsler 64. Duck speak down, down in the valley. Table by wire. Imagine being sat in the back with a machine gun. Yeah, I know. And in the freezing winter. Oh, crikey. Where are you going, sir? There's bad boy Cox. Yeah, the sim's running really smoothly. Can you guys notice the difference between the previous streams and this stream? Is it notice Is there a big difference or is it only slightly better? Oh, Domino Mocino, it looks like you've crashed, sir. Yeah, this is exactly what Microsoft likes it for. I know, great for this VFR sort of thing. Get out of there. Whoa. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm turning in the opposite direction. Ah, oh, no. It's because I'm, in the, I'm uh, looking opposite. Should be following this road. Now, VFR pipes remind me, you keep the landmark you're following on the left hand side. Uh, Domino Mosina, you are uh, on the North Europe server. I should think you are. I've had that before where people can't find me on the group flights. I'm going down the wrong valley. Lightspeed, what airport? Well, we've just left Pamplona, Lima Echo Papa Papa, about 10 minutes ago, um, and there isn't any airports in between. But if you spawn there and slew north, you'll find us. You're making your great grandpa proud. Thanks to Vanga, yes. He flew the Sop of Camel. So I, 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 said that on, I must have said that on the stream. I must have said that on the stream. Oh, yes, love that bicycle view. That's, the texture's really nice. <laughs> and that view. Yeah, this was... Uh, I remember reading about it. It was on... Flame, the post office used it, didn't they? The US post office? There's Rinsler slowing there. I was sort of catching up. There's Fighter 286 joining the formation. This has been his TV9. Probably about to stall. He's got his gear down. Cosmic Frog Mount 51 as well. Flying Walnuts over there. Ye old airmail. Duck speak is nice and low. As I said, guys, if you're in the Curtis, you want better performance, just go to your payload and lower that to zero, your payload, uh, because it, I flew earlier with the pilot co pilot, it was unflyable. <coughs> I couldn't get above 2,000 2, feet. Here it's flying really nicely. No, it's not Toga, that's Toga. I could get more out of it. Obviously, I don't want to rush off. Let's get up to where Rinsler is. Oh, 34 knots. <laughs> Rather stall. Take care, light speed. Oh, this is mega. 
must have been in his TV9. Duck speaks down there. There's the road we're following below. A fire extinguisher bottle. Yes, I'd say we're about a fifth or sixth of the way. It's only about a 40 minute flight. Nice oxygen tank. What is that? I think it's fire extinguisher. Oh, I'm not trim at all here. Sixty dots. Okay, close to Rosie Quartz in the one five two. That's gonna be almost stalling. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that thing is, I mean, the Cessna 152 is not exactly sporty. <laughs> it's climbing well now, yeah, it's definitely better performance than before. Try, Eddie, try the stall recovery manoeuvre in this. Good luck. Are you talking from experience? I at now. I'm almost at 4,000 feet. I'll get down to 3,000 feet. I won't be going low and slow here. Oh! 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 What happened? Oh! What happened? <laughs> sort of flipped round. Sort of flipped round upside down. What happened there? It sort of like flipped on its back. I thought I was gone. I thought I was a goner. <laughs> that was a bit weird. Not following the road accurately, but that will become a tunnel. In fact, we're going to be climbing soon. They sort of flipped upside down like a, a flopped over. Yeah, it was like flicking the co-pilot around. Actually, that would be the co-pilot there, wouldn't it? power. Uh, yeah, you can't climb very at well, high altitude, it's about as best as... Ooh, a bit low on speed again. There's no, there's no airspeed indicator, so you got to just sort of point it in a straight line and hope. There we are. It's just, again, I'm just following that road. Where is it? Just off. There it is, down on the right-hand side, look. That's the road we're following. Cars. The cars driving on the left hand side in Spain, are they? They see how the road sort of goes up there. The fumes are in the way, but that's what we're following, and that will go into a into a tunnel. Fuel's good. Someone up there, look the cosmic frog. Full flap, we're driving on the right hand side, I know you do. Yeah, to be fair, I think you are in the, in the sim. Oh, we're entering the tunnel. No, the tunnel's not there in the sim. It's just like a, the road just sort of merges into the side of the mountain, unfortunately. Yeah, it says in the manual that the cruise power is 1100 RPM, so you've got full power, which is 1300, but for the cruise you want to set 1100. Just about there. Just ticking over. Time for some barnstorming, for which this aeroplane was famous. Yes, I remember the mission in Flight Sim. What was it? A Flight Sim mission to do that? Can't remember. Get a bit lower and slower. Yeah, face is probably freezing from the wind, yeah, especially when I go on my tiptoes. Like that. Oof. I've got to be careful here because this is actually slowly 
climbing up continuously, so I could get myself into a bit of trouble here. Oh, actually, why have I come so low? Uh-oh. That's full power, and I'm barely holding my speed. 50... Oh, no. Have I... <laughs> 56 knots, 55, oh no! <laughs> oh dear, I could have shot myself in the foot here. Uh, <laughs> come on, accelerate. What's the best climb speed? Uh, thank, thank they've got my mobile phone. Ah, I've, I've... Oh, come on. Oh, I could have bit, bit myself here. Right, I'll just hold it at 55 knots. The thing is, it... This road just keeps climbing and climbing. Oh no. Oh no, where do I go? Left! <laughs> Follow the road! <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh, I think if I'd left that another 100 feet, I'd have been a goner. Oh, I'm full power here, 55 knots. And, the, and it's just getting higher and higher and higher. Look at the terrain look on the map. And the, this is where it goes into the tunnel soon. I've just got to follow the contours of the road. I've got to go right here, I think. Yeah, it is. Look. Oh, 49, don't go too much slower. Come on. I'm at full power now. Mount 51, be careful. <laughs> Can't see through the fumes of my exhaust. So funny. The lightest pilot wins, I know. Right, I think we're okay now. Yeah, I think we can just sort of the so the road goes into a into that yeah, no no actually there's the road, look. So the so tunnel's directly underneath us. There we are. So that's where they come out. I think that's the highest point. Oh, a few other jennies nearly bit the dust. Just keep following the road. We're nearly halfway. Let's go down to Malk. A few people actually got ahead of us. Uh, Pete, for the second time in recent weeks, Blanc Blon Curio was poised to make a new video. What are you on about, Pete? What was the first time? Cool, yeah, now I've dived down with the power. Just about to catch up with Mount 51. Full flat, where are we flying to? To Bayritz, Ella, Lima, Foxtrot, Bravo, Zulu. Rosie, at least you're not fighting the turbos in a Cessna branded kite. Ah, were you? Was that you in the Cessna? Just dive, you'll gain more speed than using the engine. That is true. There's Rinslow and his Curtis. Whoa. I'm literally at full power. Applewood Cox is coming over. There we are. So we're over the high point. Again, we're just carrying on to the north. We could go as the crow flies or make that right right turn, follow the road. But I think we're sort of. The terrain's okay now. Let's mount the top. Cosmic Frog's got plenty of height. Are you using sustainable jet fuel? <laughs> no, using dinosaurs. Oh dear, I can picture the captain a brown leather cap with ear flaps and those round eye hugging glasses aviators used to wear. Brilliant. <laughs> Flying onto the radar stuff. I think it's literally stuff like aircraft ever made. <laughs> anyway, there's that right. Oh, look! I've got the bridge there, which is pretty cool. Even though the cars seem to be underneath it. Very nice. Oh yeah, that will trim down now. Yeah, we'll go as the crow flies then, we'll just keep going north. Keep going north until we see the coastline, basically. 
Your llama has more horsepower. Probably does, probably does. Actually, I don't know how much horsepower this has. I should think the engine spewed oil at, at the pilots as well. It wouldn't propel it to. Ah, there we are. There's some Curtis Jennies. Slow down a tad. Fighter 286 joined the formation. Domino Mocina's caught up. Oh! He's done a little dirty dive. Yeah, don't hold fully down on the stick because this happens. Look. It fli flips around like this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> sort of flips over on its back. Hello, gang. Oh, low on speed. Uh. 95 horsepower according to Microsoft Flight Sim. It's actually not that bad. Does it actually have trim though? I've lost everyone now because of my dirty dive. There's Domino Rosina. Right, just due north. Can I see the sea yet? Not quite. Oh, I could be over these hills. Eddie almost landed in a bush trail like those cartel pilots on YouTube. Brilliant. Jeez, car composites. But yeah, I don't know what my ground speed is. But yeah, this is live weather, but the, the light wind is very light and variable. Yeah, at the moment I'm drifting as well. I should be going in this direction. Yeah, these guys are actually going in the right direction. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. There we are. <laughs> it is very cool, this thing. Right, there we are, due north. Follow the crowd. Flight and Sim turning into a bush pilot. I was thinking about making this into a bit of a more of a bus stream. I was like, nah, it's going low and slow. Clear of conflict. Right, just head north. Uh, Stephanie, you've got a V8 in this thing, producing about 90 horsepower at 1400 RPM. It's actually a V-Bank cylinder as well. I thought it's got four cylinders. Oh, it is actually a V-Bank, isn't it? V8 producing 90 horsepower. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> now they can make a two-cylinder engine produce much more. But how old is this? 100 years old? Oh, yeah, a bit of terrain ahead as well. I've not landed this yet, but I think it's going to be hard to ground loop, because it's not doing brakes. Knowing my luck, I will probably ground loop it. Right, just head in this general direction. Yeah, this is like a 1918 technology, isn't it? Imagine seeing that, though. Back in the day, you'd be like, wow. God blimey, it looks like something happens in the jungle down there, isn't it? You wouldn't want to have a lot of engine power now. Oh, crikey, again, I've got to sort of make sure I can clear these trees. We've got an escape route. Yeah, I'm going to the right. I'm up at 2,500 feet here. Right, past the halfway point. Rinsa, you be careful. Oh, these guys have got plenty of height to play with. I better look where I'm going here, actually. I should. Oh, I can clear these trees. 62 knots. Oh, no. Hold on. I don't think I'm going to clear these trees. Uh, 50 knots. No. If I committed there, I would have been in trouble. I think I'm going to have to go this way to clear the map. Get over, get over here, I'm going the complete wrong direction. I'm going east now. Come on. I'll get to 55. What's the... I want to know what best rate climb speed is. Right, there's 55 knots. Let's plug in that. 58. 
thank God for my mobile phone. Trees look very tropical for northern Spain. I need to make a left turn north. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I can go around the mountain. Oh, hello. <laughs> there we are. Oh, I can see the sea look ahead. There is the Bay of Biscay ahead. Very cool. Chat GPT answered for you. 40 to 60 knots best climb speed. That's a quite, that's quite a wide breadth of speed for this egg. Well, 50 was in the middle, 55 on the higher end. We have to top up the fuel. No, we've got plenty of fuel. We only got half a tank. We're left for about on that line. I think the range is about 150 miles. This is only about 35, 40, 40 nautical miles we've travelled. There we are. So I think we're over the high terrain now. There's Big Splat. It is 172. It's amazing how people are actually online just on the servers. People in 320s over there. That's good with your friends, I suppose, isn't it? You're just trying to start out flight soon. Right, cool. Beware catapultic winds, though, it seems a calm day. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. If you get stuck in the valley. Might never, never be able to climb out of it. Eddie would like to see the VAs. Let me get to drone cam. Bear in mind, I have no control of the aircraft. There you go. If I actually press C, I think I can control the plane. Oh, yeah, there we go. Well, oh, it's really hard to hand fly and stay in this, this view. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Are there any of these flying still? Just at air shows and things like that. I wonder how reliable the engines were. I went up in a Tiger Moth once. It was an awesome experience. Like loops and everything. I sit in the front seat, and usually the pilot would be in the back one, but it's cool. Gives you a better view forward. Into a bit of a dive towards Beirits, which is on the nose. There we are, just show you where we are. Flying still, they barely, barely flew then. <laughs> Fast now because the controls are quite responsive. <laughs> Bob, you're doing our building, chewing ILS with your sextant. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. But mechanics probably used to use sewing machines, imagine that. Yeah? I will do a loop. Now. I presume it can do a loop. There's a lot of creaking. Oh, I nearly had a mid-air collision. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Now, if I was at the Red Arrows, you'd have been impressed by that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I planned that. It's basically a loop and just ended up behind the traffic. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh, is there any good World War One fighter? Uh, games that would be really cool. Let's try it. Rinzer's trying to lose me though. Oh, 
got Fighter 286 up there. I'm trying to coordinate my turns with rudder a little bit as well. Yeah, he'd have been dead by now. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh he's going to lose me. Oh, he's done a, a manoeuvre to get on my tail, hasn't he? Oh, he's clever. Ah, oh, he's not going to catch me now. There we are. It's all flat now towards b -Ritz. did actually download the uh, flight because you go see for this. What one must have been really chill. From way 09 in use in b -Ritz. This is not really good. Oh yeah, I forgot I can still look left and right using my little uh, joystick viewer. Hi Andrew, I hope you're doing well. I'll start my tight rating in April. Is there any chance we'll be instructing at that time? Very likely, uh, Andrew. So, uh, again, I don't really do meet and greets, <laughs> but if I happen to be instructor, uh, I'll say hello. Watch out for Mag Tuck. <laughs> Sever says you've, uh, yeah, you've got Rise of Fight, I, uh, IL, oh, uh, Strubatov, whatever it's called, for World War One. Yeah, uh, War Thunder's a bit arcane, isn't it? I did have a little play on DCS yesterday when I was testing stream, but I just, well, I just couldn't get anything to work. I was in an A10 and couldn't. Get, I, all I could do is get the gear to go up and down. None of the buttons seem to do anything. Someone said flat one. Yeah, it's very simple. I mean, the only instrument we've got is an altimeter uh, from sort of flying pathways. No airspeed indicator. You've got uh, RPM gauge, oil, and what's that? A zero. Coolant, I guess. Well, it's very cold, so that's good. A tray table. And, uh, yeah, just a lot of wood. I don't know what that is. Oops. Dropped very low now. Maybe it's just on the nose. Yeah, it reminds me of the Blerio stream we did a few years back. That was fun. Still has more trade tables than the 737 flight deck. <laughs> it does. It has one. It's got a lot. Yes, I remember playing with it earlier. Where is it? There is a light somewhere, isn't there? These? Nope, I think that's mixture. Yeah, look! <laughs> it's got a little light! Brilliant. At least you won't forget to put the gear down, uh, says Tamango. Well done. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that was the mixture, I think. The fuel cut off or something. Drifting off course. Oh, I've got a Bell 407. Now he is going to be on his stick shaker. Wait, isn't that heli it wasn't a Bell 407 a helicopter? What? But he's in a Learjet. <laughs> isn't that a Jet Ranger? Oh, there's Flying Water anyway. Livid evil is on my tail in a helicopter slash near jet. I can hear it. Ah, hello. Beirut's on the nose and there I think is the airport look. Over there. How are you overtaking me in the 152? I don't know. 68 knots. Uh, it's respectable. It's just Curtis Jennings everywhere. Martin, what's the glide ratio on this thing? Probably not very good, it's a little drag. 
cosmic frog. Very nice. Imagine doing this round the world tour. <laughs> also with a bit more automation perhaps. But as I said it before, the whole world is here to fly over in the sim. Don't have to do anything, just load in, it looks amazing. What the earth is that? It's like a ghost plane. I don't know if you can see it. There we are, big splat 172. Why is there an iPod next to the GPS thing? What like that? Let's see. It's my compass. And it, oh, it has a radio on it as well. Oh, <laughs> funny. Right. Bayritz on the nose. We've crossed into France. Oh, this freaks me. Oh, this. Yes, how do I fly an ILS? Very, it's very sensitive in pitch. <laughs> One request there for information for join, tell ho. I don't even I think these are burning airlift or DC threes, I don't think we can really <laughs> airlift a huge amount of these things. Maybe a post, some post. Oh, this must be one of the. Is this one of these photorealistic? Oh no, they are generic houses. They do look really nice. Some nice homes down there, isn't it? Oh, it's one of the Xbox liveries. No, I had to go for this OG one. All right, airport straight ahead. I don't. Know, I meant the quantity of aircraft. Yes. Does it have a brake fan? <laughs> what do you mean on these? Wait, how do I get to the... These? <laughs> I doesn't even have brakes! That's actually a good view to land. Oh, there's a, there's a 152 look. I can hear it. Very nice flying, sir. Ha! Where's he gone? There it is. Ah, so it's right on the edge of where my Toby Eye Tracker can let me go. There he is. Ah, there's the main road. Oh, this is great with the Toby Eye Tracker. Now, the airport should be. Oh, I, could I could jump into the next seat there, straight ahead, look. Got the exhaust fumes coming out. Traffic assessor 152, caution, wait 10 minutes. To Mango, I had tray table, I had tablet tray table, so I thought I'd uh, have brake fan to complete the Airbus uh, classification. It does have actually quite a lot of Airbus features on it. Uh, Steve's hardest part, well, apart from avoiding small hills, uh, is uh, steering on the ground. I would have thought. Yes, I don't think you can steer. I think once you've landed, you can't taxi uh, because this is just a simple little wooden stick. No castering nose wheels. So I think once you've landed, it's that's it. Oh look, there is the airport off to the right hand side. So we'll join downwind. Well, straight onto base leg. Someone did say it's from zero nine. I did pull the car beep. Is traffic only modelled on the roadways or on all roads, railways? I think it's just all roads as traffic. Oh, <laughs> oh pure. Seeing that can't taxi, it was a bit of a waste of time downloading the uh, Flight Beam Studio scenery. <laughs> you have to push the plane to taxi. 
Ah, there's three whites. Oh, the Berate Billitz residents are investing in freaking what earth is this noise? This is where Toby Eye Track is fantastic. You turn off base onto final. Oh yeah, I've used a bit of fuel. Used two bars of fuel for that flight. There's no airspeed indicator. Look at that water. I th basically, I'm just going to hold, uh, cut the power off, and just basically glide down. We're just going flat out, flat out on this landing. Rinsler. Center line here, come on. Ooh. Right, let's cut the power. No brakes, remember. Oh, it's a tug. Oh, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> it's a floating jet. Nice. That was a good landing. But we'll just have to bring it to a stop on the runway because I, I can't taxi. I can't taxi. Oh, yeah, that is definitely a helicopter. <laughs> Living devil. <laughs> oh, this sim. There we go. I'm trying to stop, but I've got no brakes. I think I'll just have to call, kill the engine. <laughs> and we have stopped there. Brilliant. There we are. Well, <laughs> also people are trying to taxi. There we go. Well, that was fun. How how did the 2K stream go, guys? Good visuals? Bit of fun at the end there? <laughs> what machine? <laughs> I wonder when we'll next fly the Curtis Jenny. <laughs> Probably no time soon. But that no, was good fun. Thanks to everyone that joined in. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was a good test for the quality of everything 2K in, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, which has the best visuals out of the, all the uh, fly sims available. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased it's all set up working. Hopefully you'll... In moving forward, enjoy the improved quality of the textures and sims as well. Oh, someone managed to, Domino Mussini managed to turn around. There we are, there's uh, that hovering Learjet coming in. But yeah, thank you very much for popping in. I hope you enjoyed the little 320 Phoenix flight to uh, uh, Pamplona. That was a, a challenge, but it pulled off, uh, you know, pulled off, uh, well, pulled it off just about, and then a nice little, uh, it's been a while since we did a group flight Microsoft Flight Simulator. But yeah, we'll, uh, End it there. Thank you very much for uh, popping in. And if you enjoyed, enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay up to the latest content, usual sign off stuff. And um, I will be streaming again in the uh, next few days. Uh, I haven't got anything uh, planned. Well, I've got a lot of things I like to do, but uh, I'll have a think of something to do for the, for the next one. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.